In this exercise, you will learn how to count the number of variants in a VCF file using some Linux commands. So make sure that you are running a Linux PC. The commands will also work on macOS systems, so any of them should be fine. They are all Unix-like operating systems, so they should work fine um, so far as this tutorial is concerned. For this exercise, you will first download an example VCF file. So um, I have a number of VCF files available on one of my GitHub repos. So we will use one of the files for this exercise. You will identify the variant in that file using a pattern search. You will use the inverse strategy. So with the inverse strategy, we are looking at lines that do not contain the pattern that we supply. Those are the lines and that we are interested in. Those are the variants. So once we get them, we will then count them. So what are the patterns? We are using just one pattern here. Okay, so there's a pattern. So there's a regular expression. So basically what this means is that we are looking for lines that begin with a hash character. So the character here is just telling the computer that those characters that are after that come after the character and the ones we are interested in. And those are the ones that we want. And they should be at the start of the lines. So that is what this uh, basically means. So why are we using this pattern? Let's look at the VCF file format. This is uh, one of the current ones I got. Um, yeah, 27 July 2021. So we'll use this. I'll leave this link in the description box. So this explains the a VCF file, the formats, the content. So with the VCF file, we have the metadata and we also have the variants themselves. So metadata, all lines that are classified as metadata begin with the hash symbol, the hash character. So that's what we have here. We have them here. And lines that do not begin with a hash symbol or a hash character uh, variant. So those are the ones we are interested in. So look at these ones here. These ones do not begin with a hash character. So they are the ones that we want. So because we are doing an invert search, you will specify this pattern and then the computer will search for these patterns here in the file. And then once there's a line with that pattern, it's discards it. And then it takes only those without the pattern, without the hash um, character, okay, beginning um, there. So that is why we are using that particular pattern, okay. So let's proceed. Let's move back to the presentation. So we are going to use these commands to help us do the counts. So we have grep, zgrep, cat, zcap, and then wc-l. So the grep, grep is um, a regular expression command. It's used to um, specify regular expressions and then search um, for those patterns in files, in text files or in text. Okay, so the grep is for uncompressed text files and the zgrep is for compressed. I have tried zgrep on JZ files, so that is what I'll be able to talk about. So they do the same thing. The difference is with the file formats. Cuts and the Z cuts are also the same. They all display contents in a text file. Cut is for uncompressed. Z cut is for compressed. WC L here is for counts. Okay, so we count lines with it. So we we'll combine these commands to give us the counts of the variants. So let's proceed. We will begin by first downloading an example data. Okay, so we are going to use a VCF file which is available on my GitHub repo. And this is the page. I'll leave the link in the description box for you to also visit this repo and then download it. But before we download, let me also say that the data sets here were prepared using data from the Thousand Genos projects. So this is the page for the Thousand Genos projects FTP site where you have several VCF files that you can use. Okay, so I downloaded and downsampled the VCF files and then merged them. Okay, so let me also say that the files here are very heavy. And so um, if I'm going to use them, um, you just have to know that they are heavy. So and that's it. 
but the files I prepared from this ones here are here on my GitHub repo. So they are very, very small. Okay. Uh, the size are very, very small. So you can download them quickly and easily and use them on your PC without any challenge. You can use them on ordinary pieces. Okay. So that's how it is. So let's download the data. For this exercise, we are going to use this file all.snipsindels.vcf.gz This file is what we are going to use. To download it, you first have to click on it. You can also double click. And then you'll be sent to another page. On this page, move to the right side. Just follow my cursor. Move to the right side and you'll see a download button here. So there's a button labeled download. That is what we are going to use. I'll show you two approaches to use to download this file. The first approach is used if you want to download using the browser. What you do is to click on it and then you'll be asked to save. So I will save it on my PC. Make sure you save it in a location where you have access to the file. Okay, so there's one way to download the file. The other approach is used if you are working on a remote server where you have access to only the terminal or the command line. For that, you need to have the download link. Okay, so that is what you need. So to get the download link, still bring your cursor over to the button. And then what you do is you just right click it. Okay, so once you right click it, you go to this copy link here and then just click on it. Okay. So I am using a Firefox browser, so this is how I do it. But using the other browsers to be able to get the download link. So once you have this download link, you move to the terminal and continue from there. So on the terminal, the first thing I will do is to create a working directory. So I will say make the VCFs. I will then cd to it. The reason why I do this is to separate files that I'll be generating for this exercise from other files on my PC. Okay, so doing this helps you to organize your files and prevent accidental removal of files and modification of files. So that is why I create directories for every project that I do. So now it's time to download the data. So I will use widget for it. So I'll say widget and I will supply it with the download link of the file, the VCF file. And then I will run it. Please take note that aside we get the other tools that can help you to download files from the internet. Okay, so just use an appropriate tool to get your data downloaded. So let's run this command. So now the data has been downloaded. Let's first clear the screen and continue. Let's do an ls to check the file. So we have it there. Now, before we look at the commands for the count, let me just show you how um, the commands are used quickly. Okay, so we are using it to just look at um, some information here. So let's start with the grip. So the grep command is used to identify patterns, okay, as I said, but we are using um, the uh, gzipped file here, so we will use zgrep. So to use, we say zgrep, and then we just specify the pattern. We are using the invert match, so we do this. We put our pattern in quotes, and then we call the file that um, we want to search in. So this is what we do. So with this particular command, when you run it, the hits will be displayed for you. Let's do this. Let's run this command. So you have something like this. Okay. So um, what we have here, we have lots of information being displayed. Okay, but uh, at the end of the day, what we want is to count. And so with the commands I'll use for the main tutorial, we are going to do a count. So we are going to avoid the situation of having all this information be displayed. But 
I just want to show you how some of these commands work by default. So let's proceed. Let's cancel this operation. To cancel, you use the control C to do the cancel. So press it and then and the display will stop. Let's continue. You go to a new screen. Now let's look at the cats command as well. So the cats command displays contents. Okay, it will display everything in it. The grep command just looks at patterns and then returns the one and that it considers hits. But with the cat, it will display everything for you. So we are using zip file, a zip file. So we use zcat. So we say zcat and then we call the file. So let's run this. This will also display all the lines. We have lots of information here. Okay, so let's cancel this. So to avoid all this, we will just combine a number of these commands and then get a final count for us. Let's clear the screen. The count itself will be done um, using WC-L and another option which we will look at shortly. So this is just an overview of what um, these commands are and then what they do. Okay, so uh, that's what you should know in case you are a beginner in Linux. So now let's proceed with the actual exercise. Let's do an ls and then we see that the file is there so we can proceed. With this exercise, I will give you four ways of counting the variance. So let's proceed. I'll begin with the first one where we use zcat. So we say zcat and then we specify the VCF file like this. So the zcat is supposed to display the contents of this file here, which is zipped. But then instead of displaying, we want to push the outputs, the result from this command to another command. So we use the pipe command. Then we do a grep. So grep is being used to get a pattern, okay, for us, a pattern from this particular operation. So we use the invert strategy. So we say dash vein, and then we specify our pattern. It should be in quotes. So we put it like this. After doing the grep, you will now count. So we pipe again and we say WC-L. So the grep here will start for the pattern, the hash one here. The lines begin with the hash, but because we are using the inverted match, all lines that do not contain the hash is what we will get. Lines that contain this symbol here, this character here, will be discarded. So once we have everything, we count. And that is what this WC-L here means. So let's run this command. So there we have it. So we have the count here. We have 922022. Okay, so that's what we have. So let's look at the second approach. We still use Zcat. We specify the VCF file. We do a grep dash vein. So this is where we add an additional option. The grep itself has an option for counting. So that is what we will use. So we say dash C. That is for counting the pattern okay, of interest to count the patterns that is supposed to return um, for us. So we put our pattern in quotes. And then that's it. So the dash C here is replacing the WC-L. So that is what it does. So let's do the counts. Let's run this command. There we have it. That has also been done nicely for us. So let's look at the third command. The third command, we use zgrep. So we say zgrep. So here, instead of doing the cuts, we are doing the grep directly on the VCF file. So we do a zgrep dash vein. We specify our pattern. And then we specify the VCF file. And then we count. So we have our pipe and we say WC dash L. And then we count. So there we have it. 
let's look at the fourth approach. Zgram dash v dash c. We specify our pattern. And then we specify the VCFR. So again, we are replacing WC dash L with this one here. So there we have it. So let's run this. So there we have it. Okay, so these are cool commands you can use to and get your stuff done for you. So Linux um, has a very powerful and flexible scripting environment. So that allows you to combine a lot of commands together to get what you want. So that's all. So let me also get your comments and let me know if there's anything that needs to be improved um, on this tutorial. So that'll be all for this tutorial. And you can also watch other tutorials on how to manipulate VCF files um, on Linux. See you in the next session.